may come back here. What the bloody hell is going on here? Thank you, Harry. You bet. You gonna answer me? Well, what do you need to know, darling? What I'm doing here. I thought I was going to the police station to give a deposition. Oh, no. No, you're not. We're gonna have a little talk. And who was that phony cop, one of your stooges? Oh, no, he's a real cop. I have a lot of influence with the Dallas Police Department, but you gotta admit, it's an interesting way to set up a conversation, isn't it? I told you, I have very little, if anything, to say to you. And I told you that I wanted to hear your side of how you broke up my mother's marriage. Now, what on earth did you see in Clayton Farlow? That is none of your business. Oh, yes, it is. You see, he's like a father to me. I was the first one to welcome him with open arms into my family. And now, because of you, he'll soon be gone. You don't know anything about what happened between Clayton and me. <laughs> well, I have pretty good imagination. And I don't know about Clayton, but if you'd have been with me, you would have been properly and frequently vetted, my dear. You know, I might have made love to Clayton. He's a warm, considerate person. But if I lived to be a thousand, I'd never let you touch me. <laughs> You're about to learn what a lot of ladies have learned before you. Really? Never say never to J.R. Ewing.